Hi there. When we're looking at the economy and how economic influences affect a business, we need to build our confidence with a concept called inflation. So let's just spend a minute or two exploring what it's all about. As I said, inflation is one of several economic influences on the business. And what inflation is, is a measure of change or the increase in the overall or average prices in an economy. And the way it's measured is by way of a percentage change. A basket of commonly bought goods and services, the prices of which are tracked by official statisticians. And each month they calculate the monthly and the annual percentage change in inflation to give a feel for what the overall or the average change in prices has been in the economy. And the most common measure of that is called the Consumer Price Index or the CPI. So it's an index if you're thinking back to quantitative skills and it's also a percentage change. Well, here on the chart there is uh, some data that takes us back over the last 10 years to show you what the annual percentage change has been month by month in the UK economy. And you can see there have been some peaks and troughs. Uh, we uh, Generally, the government is trying to keep inflation around about the 2% level, if it can get below. That's good news. While well, there was a period of higher inflation uh, in uh, 2010, 2011, 2012, it dipped below 2% between the start of 2015 uh, and then in 2016, it started to rise again. And since then, it's hovered around the 2 to 3% per year basis. But uh, a far cry from the very high levels of inflation that the UK, UK economy suffered uh, in, the, in particular in the late 1970s and early 1980s. So let's just think for a minute or so about what inflation means and what effects it might have. First of all, from the consumer's point of view, inflation is potentially quite damaging, particularly if it gets quite high, gets out of control, because as inflation rises, then the amount that your income or your money can spend reduces in value. You're able to afford fewer goods and services. The value of your savings is diminished because, again, they don't go as far. And of course, what can happen is that you get into a spiral of rising prices leading to higher wage demands, which in turn possibly leads to higher prices as businesses try to pass on uh, wage increases to customers in the form of higher prices. Big losers of higher inflation are those who have little bargaining power, particularly consumers or households, on fixed incomes. So, for example, those on low wages uh, and pensioners. Well, businesses, you can make the case for there being positive and negative effects of inflation. So for some businesses, for many businesses, a little bit of inflation is good news. If prices are rising steadily, then you only need to continue to grow, uh, so to sell the same amount and you should see your revenues rise. And if your gross profit margin stays the same, then if revenues are rising, your gross profit will go up and potentially also your profit. Uh, inflation also makes debt <coughs> excuse me, relatively cheaper because the value of the debt falls over time as inflation rises. However, businesses need to be careful with inflation, uh, particularly depending on the cause of the rise in prices. For example, if inflation is caused by rising costs, uh, then there's an issue for a business if they're not able to pass on those costs to consumers. So, for example, if input prices, the raw material prices go up, but the business is operating in a market where demand is very price elastic, very price sensitive, high price elasticity of demand, then it may be that the business has to accept lower profit margins as a result of inflation. And generally, rising inflation, in particular if it gets out of control, is often associated with government economic policy that leads to higher interest rates to try to keep uh, inflation lower, which in turn may, may mean that uh, finance and debt is more expensive and it could, e it could even lead to lower levels of economic growth. So whilst a little bit of inflation is good news for businesses, uh, high and rising inflation can be a concern, particularly where it arises from cost pressures. But there we go. That's just a very brief overview and an introduction to the concept of inflation. 